Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Today, Tony Abrams management finally addressed all the rumors about their alleged trouble in her marriage to the Yoruba actor Kalawale Ojiemi. A popular blog on Instagram today, Gis Lovers, reported trouble in Tony Abrams' marriage. And this was how they shared the news. Dear Tony, information reaching violence headquarters we say your marriage has been shaken all along. No be today the info they come. Guess your husband got tired and confided in a friend. No push him out. He said, and I quote, I've been managing in that marriage. Proud to when Tony got pregnant. Sometimes she doesn't sleep at home for days. She doesn't take up her responsibilities as a wife. She doesn't even follow them to church or no. So this friend that he has just been managing, hoping things get better, that some of the posts Tony makes at times calling or local apology post stylishly. He said a lot, but in as much as you don't want another loud wake up, just like Fugia Kendele, dear Tony, kindly retrace your step. I'm not saying make an the bunko, no, no way, but I said what I said, and you both know I'm not lying. But it is what it is. The couple goals must keep going, but please make it a genuine one, not a patched one. There's still time for amendments though, because Kola said a lot too. He was even advising the said friend that's no perfect marriage and that they're just in patching theirs too. I pray it doesn't happen. If it does happen, just I want a head. I come in peace. And some hours after this, to Hebrews management address this on social media platforms. They share lovely photos of Tony and her husband, a route which also a report of an untrue and alleged shaky marriage. Of our talent to Abraham and our Nollywood star husband, Kolaulia Jim. Oftentimes, people say there is no smoke without fire. But this time around, we are sure all fans of Tony and Kola Jim that there was no smoke, talk less of fire. This story is not true. Tony has not slept out in months, except for location or when she's out of town for drop. Most often than not, she and her husband only days together, both within and outside Nigeria. We understand there are people who feed bloggers and just merchants lies so as to achieve selfish interests. We leave such people in the hand of God. We also acknowledge concern that people have shown regarding the marriage and prayers that God will sustain it. We thank you and appreciate the concern. But we can assure them that the marriage is intact, not shaky, and all is well. Signed, 007 Global Management. This was the statement released by Tony Abrams Management today as we get the news going around on social media platforms. So these two are fine and there's no trouble at all. For other recent news on Tony Abrams and her husband, please stay with us. Tony is one of the top actors with mouth-watching endorsement deals and she keeps on getting one endorsement deal after another endorsement deal. Just recently, Purit unveiled Tony as the ambassador so then they were celebrating their 30th anniversary. Meanwhile, in another news, as it got Tony and her husband early this year, Tony addressed some of the rumors going all around about her financial status and her husband's financial status, and people were saying different things and also about their age, especially when her husband acquired the luxurious ride. Well, the Nollywood star went out to no critics who ridiculed her husband's hard work. In a post she shared on social media, she sounded a note of warning. To critics who assumed that she was richer than her husband due to her popularity, she noted that whatever her husband has was from his hard work and not due to her popularity. This was exactly what she shared. I don't usually do this and I'm only going to address this once. I hope this ends here. No need to stop this mentality that famous people or the most famous ones are the richest in their family, relationships or even friendships just because some people do not like to blow their own hands doesn't mean they should be seen as less or incapable. I'm speaking up because I won't let people talk down on my husband, who is a very hardworking man and he's really lost for me and the kids. Do not ridicule his hard work or what he stands for. Everything he has, he's worked for, with his own sweat and he deserves it. I'm the last one of my family and you did think I'm the richest just because I'm famous, which is far from the truth. It is 2022, please. We need to do better and stop this old mannered mentality. The best people without trying to pitch them against another person or ridicule their hard work or give credit to another. It is so old and needs to stop. In another post, she went ahead to praise her husband, saying that he has never been intimidated by anything about her. In a post she shared in celebrating his birthday that day, showing moments her husband was serenaded by the singer Timida Kolo, whom she invited. 
she wrote, I got him. Timida Kolo is one of his favorites, so I brought him home to wish or call me. Kalaoli Ajiemi, happy birthday. In another post, she appreciated her husband saying his guidance has never led her into any mistake. And she wrote, Kalaoli, you have never been intimidated by anything about me. You have always accepted me for who I am. You protect me, you love me, you adore me, and you lead me right. There is nothing you've told me to do that has turned out to be a mistake. Okomi, you give me so much peace. You allow me to be me. You let me be my whole self. You enjoy my company when I'm being me. You never try to change me or clip my wings. You push me to be me before anything else. You love our children so deeply and I love you so much. Okomi. The Yimbaram and her husband, Kala Olia Jeremy, got married in 2019. The same year, they welcomed their son in Lua. They welcomed their son in August 2019. These two have two kids together, Rilua and Temi Tokwe Ajiyemi. Temi Tokwe Ajiyemi is the teenage daughter of Kala Olia Jeremy. It has been reported that he was a single father before he finally tied a knot with the star actress, Toyin Abraham. And together, these two have built a lovely family which many Nigerians are falling in love with. Toyin and her stepdaughter are usually the perfect mommy daughter duo. And the Rilua is the daddy's boy. Their daughter, Timidokwe, followed her parents' footsteps. She also became an actress last year. This was right after Tony announced that her daughter has officially become a commercial model. She is tall, dark, and beautiful. And then this year, just about some weeks ago, Timidokwe also became a movie producer. And this was shared on Tony Bram's social media platforms. In one of the behind the scenes clip, she tagged Tim Topa GME as the producer of the movie. So in all, Tim Topa is an actress, mother, and a movie producer. And Iwiluwa GME, who is the little one in the family, is also a CEO. He has Ire Game. He's also a brand ambassador to several reputable brands. Everyone is doing quite well in this family. Kola Olia GME is also a businessman, apart from being an actor, movie producer, and a director. He's the founder of Aji Omaji School of Performing Arts, which is located in the Bokuta part of Open State. He's also the CEO of Kolaoli Clothing and Shoes. And on the other hand, Tony Hebram is also a businesswoman. He's the CEO of Plusher by Tony, together by Tony, and Cost Limited by Tony. She also has lots of multi endorsement dues. And aside that talent and unique acting skills, many people love Tony Hebram. For her personal life story. This love also have transferred to her family. They'll come to the end of this episode where Tony Hebron's management speaks on this alleged trouble in the marriage of Tony Hebron and Kola Wale Jimmy. And they're saying that there's no marital crisis at all. 